Zara Inam and you're watching Dunya International and Global TV. Recently, our executive editor and staff reporter Mr. Manzoor Hussain did an exclusive interview with Ms. Caroline Cohen, a Democrat candidate running for the seat of civil court judge from 6th Municipal District of Brooklyn. Please watch a special interview. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim viewers, welcome back. This is Manzoor Hussain with Dunya International and Global TV. This is my time with Ms. Caroline Cohen, who is running for the judge of civil court. और इसके लिए 25th ऑफ जून को रेस है जिसमें दिग्गर उम्मीदवार भी हैं हमारे साथ कैरोलिन कोहन हैं इनसे बात करते हैं वेलकम टू ग्लोबल टीवी एंड दुनिया इंटरनेशनल मिस कैरोलिन कोहल एंड थैंक्स फॉर बीइंग विद अस एंड थैंक्स फॉर गिविंग अस योर प्रेशियस टाइम लेट्स टेल आर व्यूअर्स आर ऑडियंस अबाउट योर सेल्फ देन आई विल गो फर्दर शुर आई एम अ लोकल मदर ऑफ टू स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन आई एम रेजिंग माय फैमिली इन द हार्ट ऑफ द 6th म्युनिसिपल डिस्ट्रिक्ट व्हेयर आई एम रनिंग एंड अ वेरी लार्ज पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी रिसाइड्स आई एम एंगेज्ड इन एक्टिविटीज थ्रूआउट द फोर कॉर्नर्स of the 6th Municipal District. Um, I've wanted to be a judge really for the duration of my uh, legal career. I think it's hugely important to have someone on the bench who cares about the community, who's engaged with the community, and most importantly, has done the work in the community and can then take that perspective to the bench. Ms. Caroline, there are a lot of, I sign your, this flyer in the papers that there's a lot of uh, endorsement how you get those beautiful endorsements like Rodney Bishard and other assemblymen? Can you explain to me, please? Sure. Um, it's a really simple answer. You hopefully earn endorsements, and I use that word purposefully. You earn the endorsements by doing the work. You show up. You help plan events that will assist other people. For instance, in the wake of Donald Trump's election in 2016, I assisted a friend of mine, Audrey Whalen, form a civic group called Ditmas Civic. And it actually was focused on the Pakistani community here in the 6th Municipal District. And it addressed issues including immigration, concerns about ICE, concerns about deportation, concerns about uh, bullying of children of Pakistani and Bangladeshi descent in schools. You show up and you do the work and then hopefully you're able to partner with civic leaders that are as committed as you are and then they come and support you when it's your time to take the next step in civic engagement. So can you tell us more about the procedure of civil courts, how it uh, like works and uh, it affects or it helps uh, the communities. Sure. So civil court is a court of general jurisdiction. That means that a civil court judge could um, hear almost any sort of case. They could hear uh, issues regarding housing. They could um, hear issues including when someone slips and falls and wants to sue somebody. They could hear ac or, um, cases regarding like car accidents or insurance cases. So with that in mind, it's important to bring a perspective of the community to the bench because you'll be hearing all sorts of people's cases and all sorts of cases at that. Um, as a consequence, knowing this, um, I plan to bring a um, perspective to the court that embraces all people. I am very, very dedicated to having translators readily available in the court system. Uh, it is not infrequent for someone who doesn't have English as a first language to come to court, to be scared, to be confused, and there not to be a translator available in the language of their preference. So there may need to be an Urdu translator available. Um, and it is my goal to make sure that those resources are readily available as needed in the court system. Caroline, uh, are you satisfied with the system uh, of the courts? Like, you know, there are cases which are really f in years in, in the courts, and uh, uh, there's a proverb that says, just as is delayed is just as is denied. So, what about that? No, I think that's a really great question, and that is absolutely the case. Um, a big uh, cornerstone of my campaign is judicial efficiency, moving cases forward as quickly as possible. In my practice, so I have two different areas that I focus on in my legal practice right now, discrimination and housing. Housing in particular is a huge volume practice. Currently, I represent tenants, particularly tenants who are being harassed and mistreated by 
by their landlords. I know how to handle volume cases. For instance, it's not uncommon for me to have um, worked on 20 to 30 cases a day. And through that experience, I've been able to sort out a very specific way to address a volume of cases. You take the cases that are easy to resolve first, you move them out of the way, and then you're able to focus on the cases that are truly problematic, that truly need your attention, that are truly contentious. But by the way, having translators readily on hand assists with that um, efficiency. It helps things move forward faster, and it helps resolve issues more quickly. Good communication, uh, being able to speak to people, being able to get to the heart of the issue and resolving matters, that's what makes courts efficient. And that's what I'll bring to the bench. Thank you. Ms. Cohen, uh, as you are wearing a kind of hijab, yeah. and you know you are talking about discrimination as well, so mm, there is a, uh, a, a kind of voice Islamoph against Islamophobia yes. in, in uh, US and around the world. What do you think about that? And you know, it discriminates when you have a job or something uh, like this? I think it's horrific. I think the Islamophobia that we've seen. Um, particularly in recent years, but really in, on the increase since 9-11 is absolutely terrible. And it is incumbent on all people that really consider themselves community members to come out to be present and visible in um, Muslim communities and show solidarity with our Muslim brothers and sisters. Some a, a really big goal of mine in my election is to make sure that all people have ownership over the election process, to realize that judges work for them, not the other way around. People, regardless of race, creed, or color, should walk into a courtroom, into my courtroom, and feel welcome and comfortable and able to be heard without fear. Do you, have, do you want to say more about some your uh, this uh, civil court uh, cases or civil court method to our viewers? and? Uh, um, uh, I'll ask you another question then. Sure. My civil practice at this point in time principally focuses, as I was mentioning, on two separate things. One, discrimination, particularly against women and mothers, and then also um, issues regarding housing. I work principally with the elderly, uh, individuals who live in rent-stabilized housing, but are being mistreated by their landlords. I appreciate and I see how important affordable housing is in the city of New York. And I really take it quite as uh, quite personally when I see my clients being mistreated. And that sort of empathy, that sort of personal dedication that I have to my clients is exactly what I want to bring to the bench. So, Ms. Cohen, do you, do you have any specific message for the Asian, like uh, South Asian, like Pakistani, Bangla, or Arab American uh, population in this area specifically for the 25th of June? I am running as a person that lives in the community, but not only as a person who just lives here, but is truly a member of the community. I want everyone to feel like they have ownership, as I was saying, over the election itself, but to feel good about electing me, knowing that if they come before me, they will be welcome to tell their story and that they should feel confident in doing so. Because I personally deeply value people's stories, I want them to be heard. I want people to feel comfortable coming before me so that way we could solve the problem. Because that's the true hallmark of a great judge. Not looking at things just as a number, just as a file, but really as a person that has an issue that I'll be able to help solve. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.